Unsure if the Rhinox manual hitch or the hydraulic coupler is the right choice for you, continue watching as we compare time, costs and how to use. Before we dive into the main comparisons, let's run through the two types of hitches. A manual quick hitch is a simple manually operated coupler that lets you change buckets and attachments quickly with the aid of a lever bar. A hydraulic quick coupler allows you to quickly change buckets and attachments with the flick of a switch in the cab. Now that you've got a clear overview of both options, let's work out what suits you best for your operation and your excavator. When it comes to fitting the Rhinox manual hitch, it's a lot easier and quicker to fit it to your excavator, normally just taking a few minutes. All you need to do is remove the pins and line up the dipper end. It's just really the same process as fitting a bucket to your excavator. This process doesn't really require any technical knowledge or hydraulic knowledge. It's just purely like mounting an attachment to the end of your machine. And in reverse, the manual quick hitch is easy to take off for servicing or repairs or whether you wanted to use another kind of attachment where you don't require a manual hitch. Installing a hydraulic coupler is more time consuming and can take anywhere between three or four hours for full installation. Or if your machine is partially piped or piped down, to the dipper end can take one to two hours. Mounting the actual hydraulic quick coupler to the dipper end is relatively straightforward and really follows the same process as if you're fitting a manual hitch. But once you've mounted the quick coupler, you then have to install the hydraulic pipes and the electrical connections. This requires hydraulic and electrical knowledge. And if this is something that you don't have, then you would have to reach out to a local fitter to install those parts of the hydraulic hitch. That said, it wouldn't be a problem though if your hitch was already supplied, fitted and working when you bought the machine, either as a used machine or brand new from the dealer. When it comes to operating, the two quick hitches differ quite dramatically. The Rhinox manual quick hitch is a simple system and only requires basic manual operation. The Rhinox manual quick hitch requires a lever bar to open and close the latch and is a relatively simple, straightforward process and easy to manage on site. Rhinox's lightweight design maximizes your breakout force, giving you maximum digging power. While it doesn't offer the in-cab convenience of a hydraulic quick hitch, it's relatively easy to handle and operate on site saving you time with minimal fuss. The hydraulic coupler is the hitch that you want for rapid operation with minimum fuss. You can swap buckets and attachments from the comfort of your cab without having to get out of the machine. This is valuable on busy sites and it's also very beneficial to minimize safety risks. Changing your buckets and attachments with a hydraulic coupler is a much faster operation. With just the press of the button, it releases the latch and closes the latch, making it much safer and quicker. Another big advantage with a hydraulic coupler is you get a certain amount of travel with the latch. Because the latch moves backwards and forwards, what we refer to as travel, means that you've got a much greater range of pin centers available to you. This means that you can use a multiple range of buckets and attachments with bigger or smaller configuration on your pin centers. When comparing the breakout force between a hydraulic and a manual hitch, there is virtually no noticeable difference between the breakout force on both these hitches. Both types of Rhinox hitches are designed to be as compact as possible for the excavator that they're fitting, which means the power that's being put through the excavator into the ground is basically the same. So you don't really have to worry about losing efficiency whether you choose a hydraulic coupler or a manual coupler. So now let's compare the price. Due to the manual hitch having a lot less technical components, it is obviously a lot cheaper. A manual hitch is normally priced around 550 pounds, and a hydraulic hitch is normally around £2,000 for the same size of excavator that you'd be fitting it to. This also means that replacement parts on a manual hitch would obviously be significantly cheaper as there are less parts to go wrong. One point that's definitely worth considering is that a hydraulic coupler would definitely add more value to your machine than if you had a manual hitch fitted but it does depend on the purpose of what you're having it fitted for. So in conclusion, if you have a bit more in your budget and you want to get more out of your hitch, then I think the Rhinox Hydraulic Quick Coupler might be for you. But if you have a tighter budget, but you still want the benefits of having a hitch fitted to your machine to make changing buckets and attachments quicker, 
then the manual would be the perfect choice. Want to know about the eight different hitches in the industry? Then watch this video here. And don't forget to subscribe. You might miss out on some vital information. It's relatively easel, easel. Where's that word come from? I think the Rhinonics. Rhinonics.